I don't think so. Who is she coming for tonight? No, we had everything done. How you doing tonight? I was doing just beautiful till I went home and uh, found my suitcase stolen, all my clothes. Okay. So if you went home and found something stolen, how did you end up in here? Uh, I had a warrant, she said. Oh. She says I got a warrant. Did she tell you what the warrant was for? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, well, re release your hands. They go on your head. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. No, I don't. Understand. You don't? Yes, I do, ma'am. All right. <laughs> yeah. You have my ID? Uh, yes, we, we have your ID. Right over here, ma'am. Go ahead and take seat. First seat. First seat at the end of this row. She called saying that her roommate had kicked her out of the apartment. And uh, she doesn't actually live there. She's homeless. She just lets her stay there every now and then. Suitcase was left out yesterday outside. Nobody's seen it taken. Nobody knows who took it. Nothing like that. She just left it outside and it disappeared. Go figure. What are her warrants for that she's uh, here tonight? Trespassing, defrauding an innkeeper, and another trespassing. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. So how many times have you been in here now, Helen? I don't know. Are you counting? No, I'm just curious. You don't remember don't me know, from when you were up I, in 3EF? Yeah. yeah, maybe uh, a few times. Okay. What are you talking about? I should own the place? No, I was just asking. I don't know. It's none of your business how many times I've been in here. Do you want to know the truth? This joker who I'm living with, my suitcase is gone. Was it your roommate All that you took it or was it somebody else? Huh? Do you think oh. it was your roommate or somebody no, else? they took it. Then his friend said that I stole some money from him, and I didn't, because I stayed there last night. Mm -hmm. No. They stole my clothes. And the officer brought you in when you tried to file a report about your stolen yeah, stuff? I called, yeah, I called, the, I called the police. I want my clothes. All right, I'll see what I can do for that, and yeah. I'll see what your warrants are for you, okay? I'll be back and talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, coming straight down here. We're going to get you a place to lay down for a little bit, okay? Good. You just have one count of defrauding innkeeper and one count of trespass. Okay, keep coming down this Maybe way. Maybe my brother, if I get along again. Yeah. Okay. And you said what? After you get this cleared up? Uh, we're going to be eating in about an hour. You were saying, though, after, after you get done with this and get it cleared up, that you're going to be getting Social Security, so yeah. you won't be coming back yeah. to see us anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's great. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank All right. You. Have a good night. Okay, face the car right there. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. What's going on? Hollywood! These guys are just going to make sure everything's going to be yeah. okay, all right? That's all they're doing. That's it. Just... How much do you have to drink today, man? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Just truck and bumper. Trouble from the get-go. What's going on? Yeah, Were you out tonight? I'm having fun with some chicks. Yeah. How'd you meet up with them? <laughs> Just call me, yo, what's up, baby boy? I'm like, tell them what's up, girl. They called you baby boy? Yeah. And then so you just, they all kissing me all of a sudden, boom, this cop's coming into me like, whoa, what the f You weren't drinking at all tonight? No. No, because you, you kind of smell like it. You kind of... No. How old are you? 21. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah. Would you mind standing up and I can take and check your pockets for you? No problem. Okay. Just stand right there. Stand right there. Stand right there. I'm going to take and see what you have in your pocket. pocket. This pocket? You don't have anything sharp on you, do you? No, I don't got Are you sure it's in this pocket? See, they're trying me like a terrorist, people. No, man. I just want to make sure we got an ID for you. Oh, it's checking. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, people. Whoa, people. Whoa. Whoa, people. Whoa. You had a driver's license? Oh, or? hell no. <laughs> Where do you think it might be? My homie took it from me. Your homie took it from you? Okay. All right, walk this way. We're going to get you in the booking process. Uh, uh, now I got to go through with an evil dude. Yeah. Here's the 
Come on. Can I take my shoes? No, you don't get your shoes when you go. Okay. Kneel down. I gotta kneel down to you the gotta wall. You gotta kneel down. You think we need to put them out? Mm. Yeah, we'll just put them out. Whoa. Yeah, let's probably put them out. Hey, no, hey, no, no grandma. Lay down on your chest. Oh. Hey, relax. Just relax, relax, Edward. Relax. Relax. Edward. relax. Edward. Don't, re don't resist. Just relax. Uh, all right. All right. How's that hurt? Well, okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like Poway Sheriff's Department uh, has picked him up for being drunk in public and it's ruining his night. He's just a dumb drunk kid. That's all he is. And I have a feeling he's going to have a long career of coming here or wasted youth right there. Musician. I'm a helicopter pilot. I gotta show him. I gotta show him how to play a damn guitar. Sit down. Sit down. It's a hollow body electric. Okay. You put the end of it in, honey. <laughs> oh, this is Tim. Uh, he's one of our regulars. Every now and then he'd come in here and he'd sing us a tune or dance a jig or something, but you never know what you're gonna get with him, so. I'm a guitar picker. No place to play. I'd love to get high, but I can't find a way. And I ain't got no money, cause I don't run no pay. I'm a guitar picker with no place to play. I wrote that. Stand up. <laughs> Sir, have you been drinking? I throwed up more beer than you people ever drank. All right. <laughs> Oh, if Mama can only see me now. Put both hands on the counter, okay? <laughs> Put your money in your pocket. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on, Tim. Hey! <laughs> Waylon Jennings! Andy! We're not going that way. Where's my key to the cell, Andy? Come on. Here we go. Right here. Slash Otis. You get the sweet, as usual. I got something to show you. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, don't, don't show me that, man. <laughs> don't show me that. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Timothy's been through here quite a few times. Uh, mostly it's uh, public intoxication. Uh, most of the time it's a Class C, but in uh, Texas, if you get uh, three or more convictions within a year, it goes up to a class B. In this case, he's got a class B, which means uh, he could get up to six months uh, jail time uh, and pay a $2,000 fine. Very 87, the vehicle Sally. That body's 97. What'd you get arrested for, man? For nothing. For nothing? Okay, keep walking this way so we can get you yeah. out of here, okay? Uh, I, I got arrested for nothing. I got pulled over for nothing. And this man right here, he planted a cop in my truck. Okay, keep walking, come on. Concentrate on it. I just got out of jail two days ago, man. I got arrested for nothing, too. Okay, I had, I had a personal personal use, $20 worth. They put a uh, narcotic sale on me. Okay? And 30 years, I got, I got no ticket, 30 years. Okay. I'm an Iraqi. You don't like that? That's too bad. Sit down. They think I said drugs. Hey, it's sit a free down. country. And I'm telling you to sit down, because you're in my country. jail. Is it a free country? I'm telling okay. you to sit down, because hey, you're hey, in my jail. This white boy right here, he's a so hater, look at him. He's a white boy, hate me. I had a position, what, $20 worth? A Coke? A position. Is it, is it what, person, they call it personal use? You're not supposed to be arrested for that. Yeah, it's illegal to have cocaine, though. In possession. Okay, he's just my guy with no... Sit down. This is the last sit time I'm telling down. you. Sit down, okay. Next time, I'm helping you sit down. Don't yell, okay? You're in my house. He's yelling. Oh, your house. This is my house, okay? Oh, is that an American way? Yes. In 30 years, I got no ticket. Check my record. No tickets. When did you say you just got out of jail two days ago? Yes, sir. For what? Position. Okay, so then you have you have a record then, right? He planned a cop on me. Excuse me. Okay. Come, come on, come here. So we're gonna walk him out this way. Can, can I talk? Yeah, you can keep talking. I'm just walking you through. My country is better than yours a million times. I'm an American citizen, okay? A taxpayer. You don't like that? Right here. Oh, let's go inside. They're making money because the guy is bad. Okay. Samir, lay down on your stomach. We're gonna take the handcuffs off. This is how we take the handcuffs off. Stay just like this till you hear the door close. Okay. 
zero one thirty two no fours. Uh, originally, we were, we were briefed by SDPD that he was highly combative at their station. He had kicked out one of their patrol vehicle's windows. He's pretty angry, and he can tell he's, he's amped up on something. This isn't the effects of alcohol. This is the effects of, you know, some sort of uh, upper street drug, so probably cocaine or some sort of amphetamine. Samir, just chill out, and then you'll get out here a little bit, okay? Uh, they don't like me. Barely breathe. Okay. Slow down. Yeah, give me yeah. I got anxiety, right. man. All right. You wanna yeah, take me to the hospital? Yeah, I'll turn around. No, you're gonna go to see you're gonna see a nurse. Just calm down. Yeah, I should see a nurse real soon. Yeah, you will. You got one? Yeah. You will hurry yeah, up. Because I barely breathe. Okay. Before I barely ready to die. Okay. Got a weasel? All right. Yeah, that's right, weasel. You're a big man. Not really. Yeah, you ain't big. Man. <laughs> Are you going to push me here? Yes. That's right. We're going to walk. We're going to walk. Hurry up. Have a seat. Yeah, you hurry up. Thank you. I can barely breathe. You get me a nurse now. You see the nurse in the next Hurry up. How would you guys make contact with this guy? Because they're a weasel. Uh, we were told he was walking down the street trying to fight. Trying oh, yeah? To pick fights. Pick, pick, pick fights. Pick fights. Trouble with the camera. Hurry up. Get out of here, Before weasel. he started the fight or before he got it. Yeah, I need a nurse. Beat up. Because I can barely breathe. You're talking, so you're breathing. I barely breathe in. Sit up. You gotta take these two pictures first. Right, hurry up. Come over here. Put your back on the wall. Yes. Right Put your back here on the wall. There you go. Oh, hurry up. Look up at the camera. Look up there. Oh. No. Okay, we need to try that again. This is your last chance. Hurry up, because I can barely breathe. All right, let's walk this way. <laughs> I can barely breathe. You're gonna see the nurse right now. Yeah, hurry up. I can barely breathe. Do you have a major medical problem? I would like a double cheeseburger for if they're small. Did you want a Coke? No. Hurry up. Are you feeling suicidal? Not, not yet. I no. wanted a cheeseburger. Hurry up. Thank you. But you want a double cheeseburger, right? I like big cheeseburgers. Don't worry about it, man. Thank you. Let's go. You guys want to take care of the paperwork, man? Switch out cuffs sure. for you guys, and you guys can get. Come on, come on over here. I can't barely breathe. You seem to be breathing quite well, if you ask me, because you're talking and you're walking fine. Well, you why don't you talk to the nurse about it? You ain't a She's nurse. gonna come and yeah, talk to you again. Talk to her about it. Weasel. All right, Robert. This is what we need. Listen, listen. I just want you to kneel down in front of this wall. All the way up. Okay, this one. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there you go. Put it on top of your head. Excellent. Robert, stay just like that until you hear the door close, okay? Right, There's going to be a nurse coming by every so often to come right. and check on you. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, as you can tell, Robert was pretty drunk when he came in. When we were down in triage, he was, uh, I guess, putting his order in with the nurse as if she was the drive through He wanted a double cheeseburger and french fries. And I don't like cheeseburgers, <laughs> but I need, a hot, I need your nurse now, man. I can barely breathe. He's pretty healthy. I don't know if he's all the way healthy up here, but he's healthy enough to be here. Um, I, I done did two years in Iraq, man. This is how I get treated. I, I walked from a store, I bought me a soda, uh -huh. and next thing I know, I'm being arrested. What's your name? Please? Nothing else happened. There's nothing else that happened. Come on now. There's, I'm telling you. You been drinking today? Well, I, had, I ain't gonna lie, I had a couple of beers. You been doing anything other than drinking? I said I've been doing. <laughs> Sir, I need to calm down, relax, relax, stop, just relax, okay? I'm not resisting yes, enough. Sure. I'm not resisting, man. Just calm down. Come on, man. I'm just trying to tell you what I'm resting for. I'm getting beat up for nothing. Calm just down. Y'all finish. Yeah. It's, it's easy. Just, just get him up. No. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> ain't gonna grip me. <laughs> That's what I want right here. Yeah. yeah. All right. I ain't even know if I'm arrested for it, man. Just let him down easy. Let him down easy. 
Hold on, hold on, let me get it, let me get it. Is Sir. Is feces on it? Hold on, I got it, I got it. Sir, I need you to relax. We gotta finish searching you, okay? I'm gonna sit you up on the uh, bench, all right? Go ahead. You gonna do that for me? I'm gonna do it. All right, come on. Rock with me, I got it. One, two. All right, man, have a seat. What my dog tag said? We got it. Just calm down. You talking to me now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You talking to me now. Corner? I got it, y'all clear. Hold on, hold on. I got it. Y'all go ahead, clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want my wrestling officer's names, man. Sit down, man. Just relax. Relax. Hughes, I'm Hughes. I'm sorry to use. Relax. Sit down. Relax. Listen, I'm telling you, my I'm listening to you. Sit down and relax. We'll get a nurse over here, okay? The subject you just got arrested for being intoxicated and disruptive by the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. Uh, he'll be in the holding cell till he calm down. Oh, we got a code five male coming in. See how he's acting. Hopefully we can walk him in, not have to use the chair. It's always our best bet. How you doing? Good. What do we got here? Uh, we responded to domestic violence. OK. We get the house. It's uh, extended protection order. He kicked every door in the room. He said, when he gets out of here, he's going to fight everybody. OK. Fernando, do you know where you're at right now, sir? <laughs> have you been drinking tonight? I got a couple of beers. At this point, we only have two choices. We can either walk you in, or if you can't walk in, we're going to have to put you in that black chair right there. No, no, I'm cool. You're going to try to walk in? Yeah. All right, Fernando, we'll give you a chance at this, OK? All right, swing your feet out. No. Can you swing your feet out? Make a right. Spread your feet. What'd they arrest you for, do you know? Mr. Anna, what are you? What's the what? Talking to your wife? Or is it a restraining order? Yeah. What's got my money? It's right over here in this bag. So I got like $40,000 right there. 40 or four? <laughs> 40,000. Come down, down here. We're going to go see medical, all right? Straight, hey. straight, straight, straight. Where's my money? Yeah, they got all right so there. They Fernando. got money, and you're going to sign for it. I got $40,000 right there. Okay, in cash. thanks for telling everybody that. That's right. nice. It's not the best idea to tell all these guys in here. Yeah. Have a seat right there. Dudes, don't steal my $40,000, huh? Beat me up because I want that cup, huh? I'm fishing in Las Vegas and this is what I got. You're visiting Las Vegas? Yeah, from Tijuana, fool. Tijuana, huh? Just <laughs> gonna you look your at your out. hand real quick, okay? Gonna check yeah, your hand check out. Check it out, fool. Mexican power. Fernando, you gotta stop yelling, okay? <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> His wife filed for a divorce, had a TPO against him for domestic violence. Okay. An hour ago, he was back at the residence. He got inside the residence. Running room to room, he kicked seven doors inside the house. He kicked them down or just he kicked, kicked right through them? Wow. Every room she hid in, he uh, kicked the door in to get to her. That's where he cut his hand. Once we put hands on him, the fight was on. When we took him to the car, spit in my face, started kicking at officers. So you're going to book him for? Bad DV, malicious destruction of private property, violation of extended protection order. Sounds like he might be here for a little bit. So. Oh, yes. All right, I well, appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. How much did he actually have? Uh, $3,701. $3,701. I thought he said he had like $40,000. Uh, he's a little toxic, but I don't think he knew how much he actually had. Probably spent a bunch of it tonight. All right, man. Here you go. Here's your money. Mama. Mama. Yeah. Oh, where's the other thousand? Huh? You don't have to sign it if you don't want to. Hey, get over here. Shh. Hey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's what you came in with. I'm screaming at people. No, you still made $40,000, huh? You already spent it. Remember, you spend money in Vegas. That's what happened. We're going to take him back to the side cell. He's pretty intoxicated. Give him a chance to cool down. I don't think you'll do very well out in the front being that intoxicated. Can I pay my bill with my money? So as soon as we find out what your bail is, Fernando, you can bail it, OK? I got money enough to pay it off. OK. I go back to my country, right? OK. I didn't do nothing wrong. I was just trying to talk to my ex-wife, oh, yeah. you know? Stay in the <laughs> you can't go visit her when you got those protective orders, though, unfortunately. We'll get figured out, all right? Yeah, Have a seat. Uh, I'll find out and come back and talk to you. Yeah. OK. All right. Hang come on, on guys. Sit down. I go back to the one. He's going to be in here for a little bit. We're going to find out what's going on with him, see if Fernando can get himself out of here and go back to Tijuana, as he says. Oh, you get somebody who understands what they've done. They have a fairly decent attitude, and they joke about it. It makes my day a lot easier and a lot more interesting.
That's what they got you for? For $1.60. Oh, from the restaurant. Texas is bad coffee. So you're defrauding an innkeeper. It was bad coffee. Well, eat bad coffee or good coffee, you still have to pay for it. Oh, she's. They got yeah. you for, for leaving without paying for a $2 cup of coffee? Yeah, you got me there. Whether or not it's good coffee or bad coffee, the right thing. Still got to pay for it. Take your jacket off. Your sweater off for me, okay? You been drinking at all? No, I actually did have one, so, uh, one glass of wine earlier. Today? Okay. Yeah, the same. Are you on any medication? Um, time. No, I'm just joking. Tons? <laughs> when you go over and see the nurse, tell her that you take meds, okay? I'm trying to make the best out of a crap situation. You are making the life out of a bad situation. <laughs> all right, come on with me. No, no, we'll go this way. I was in a bad mood. Huh? All I wanted was coffee. First name? Shauna. What'd she get arrested for? She was at Coco's having some coffee and some pie. Apparently, she didn't like the pie. So decided she's just going to take off, run out of the restaurant. And the uh, owner chased her out, and I guess she left her shoes behind because she's barefoot. Oh, so one of our officers made contact with her in the parking lot. Oh, so. well, she told me that she was arrested for a bad cup of coffee. Yeah, And she... that's all she had, nothing else. Apparently, she didn't like the pie either, so oh. she took off running out of the restaurant. So what did you end up charging her with? Defrauding an innkeeper. It's basically okay. bill skip. Yeah, so she'll misdemeanor? She'll... Misdemeanor charge. She'll do yeah. a little time. Eh, That'll she'll be probably it. be out by midnight tonight. Thanks. Hey, Shauna. Shauna, I just talked to the detective, and he said you uh, had pie and coffee pie. and everything, and you, then you just got up and left. Well, I sure didn't have any pie. You didn't have any pie? I had a cup of coffee, and I ordered some uh, French toast, which is my favorite. But actually, everything sucked. The food sucked. Everything was cold. Like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever been in jail for. Yeah, I know. I've dealt with you before I know, here. I know. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, I did see, oh, what's the officer? He's really cute. Um, but <laughs> Which one? The tall Can we try to hook you up? <clears throat> He's really tall, dark, with spiky hair. I haven't seen him yet. You haven't seen him yet? Oh, no, oh, I think yet. I know who you're talking about. I can send him over to, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well, you sit here and relax, and we'll see if we get an OR for you, OK? Expedited. OK, all right. <laughs> right up here, okay? Oh, there he is. Who? My boyfriend. Oh, look right here. Look right here. You can talk to him in a minute. Okay, Sean. Stand right here, Sean. How's it going? Hey, hey. Hey. What are you doing back here? I just came to visit you. Really? Yep. Take a seat for me right behind you. Oh, my legs hurt. Why do your legs hurt? From walking so Sit far on. to see him. You? How far did you walk to come see him? <laughs> she walked a long way to see you. Really? Yeah, she even forgot to pay for her cup of coffee. Really? I didn't forget. Yeah. I ran out. I should have ran. I just walked, but I should have ran. How come you didn't run? I didn't think I had a reason to run. The coffee sucked. And the customer's always right. Okay, come on up here hey, for a second. You know, the customer's always right. When you at restaurants, at stores. At jails. Oh, yeah. Could you get me a shirt, please? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Look how excited I got. You shirt. did. Well, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you? That's very true. Okay. He's a very good looking man. Okay. All right, Sean, this is what you here, put this on over your Gotta shirt. Put it on. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time with the office. You can't could stare in an office of Saavedra? I can't. Can I face this way? Yeah, yeah you can face that way and look at it. Sure, why not? But, She's going to tell you everything. All right, Sean, you're here for defrauding an innkeeper. Uh, by this point, you got an OR. So that means you're going to get released without paying any bail. So as long as you drink coffee, run, eat pie, run, anything like that, it's going to get you in jail for defrauding an innkeeper. All right, All right you're going to go with here. Officer Saavedra now. Good luck, Sean. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Got to go sit on the right side, OK? Yes. Don't talk to the guys. Don't flirt with none of the officers. Go sit on the right side with the other females, OK? She's awfully infatuated with you. She couldn't wait to talk to you. She comes in. She, the first thing she asked me is, that tall, dark? Handsome officer with this spiky hair here. Yeah, she came all the way from the restaurant over here. She said she walked all this way to see you, but she left without paying for her cup of coffee, so. Got to pay the price. Got to pay the price. You take care of her now. I'm dropping her off. It's your station now. OK. OK? <laughs> I'm 
Uh, it's been a while. I'm gonna go down here and see how he's doing, see if he's sobered up a little bit. So what happened tonight? I don't remember. We'll see what about getting you some. Yeah, so you don't remember what happened? Here. I don't want to, I don't want to get the bars for him. You yeah. know? So I went to the bar and I had a, offered a couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. And I went back to her house, you know, knocked the door. She called you guys. I mean, mm -hmm. We've been together for like 22 years. I know I screwed up and it's no big deal, you know? And I don't want to lose her. I still love my wife. Well, hopefully you guys can still work it out. I mean, I'm sure this didn't help any, but. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, but uh, I hope there's no alcohol in both. Yeah, yeah, man, because I'm a cool guy, yeah, you know? But like I say, you know. Alcohol always brings out the worst in people. Yeah. I have somebody come, uh, Pull them chains off. Yeah. You seem, you seem like you've sobered up a little bit, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, alcohol never helps. Um, seems to be, be the biggest problem here in Vegas, especially. But hopefully he learns from this and fix things with his wife. Evidentiary testing of your blood or breath to determine the alcohol content. For a blood test or breath test? Uh, breath test, I guess. Okay. What's that all about? Those are mine. I work in security. Oh, you got a shirt on underneath this? Yes. Okay, take the sweatshirt off. Hands back up on the wall. Can I pee? Can you pee? Absolutely. Oh, you need to see medical first, though. No, oh. I'm good. Okay. But you really do, though. But after that, you can yeah, pee really. as much as you want. OK, come on. Coming through, all the way to the very last chair. Medical's going to call you after you talk to medical. But we already discussed that. What happened with that lady? Uh, she was driving west on Harmon, drove through Maryland Parkway onto the university's property, straight through the road into the university's property, up over the curb and into the landscaping, and came to stop. Whoops. Said she was following another car. Oh, OK. So we just turned and broke on the car, blew out all the tires. She was very impaired. And she failed pretty miserably on all the FSTs. She was constantly leaning on a car. She couldn't even stand. Just very upset and sad. Oh, all right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, the main thing is you weren't hurt. You didn't hurt anybody. Bad night. Right. Is this your first time here in jail? Yes. Is it ever in jail? Yes. OK. <laughs> what do you think so far? Uh, I think I want to work here. <laughs> you do? OK. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, you got a few I think leaves. I want to be a part of your uh, your clan. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> well, you got a few legal things to work out. You yeah. can always apply yeah, if not. So. Can we work it out? I got a bachelor's degree. I'm ready to go. Elizabeth, let's go get those chains off of you. Thanks, Officer Russell. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, straight ahead. Stand right here for me. How long have you been working in security? Uh, two and a half years. You like it? I love it. Do you? What about what 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 about that job do you like? Um, it's dealing with different people all the time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and sit right here for me. So you actually detain people? Yes. Take them in. I detain and them for you. Detain them for us? <laughs> yes. Come up here and sign for your belongings. I'm gonna grab you a shirt to put on. What made you come to Vegas? I graduated college and I wanted to be one of you. Yeah? So that's why you're out here? <laughs> yeah, I'm working my way up, but this isn't the way to go. <laughs> it's a little mistake. But this is a good way to see the inside of the jail. It is. So you're getting a tour. <laughs> this is a copy of your um, charge. Your numbers are on the back. Well, I wish you luck with Thank your you. endeavors into law enforcement. and. Um, Maybe next time we stop for sushi and have a glass of wine, you'll take a taxi or wait till you get home to have the wine or <laughs> bring someone that doesn't drink. Thank All you. of the above. You know this. Right. You seem smart. One of the things you'll do in here is you'll see pretrial services. They represent the court. They'll let you know if you're eligible for an OR release. OK? First two rows for me. No talking to any of the males. She's been very cooperative. Hopefully, she'll get processed out with a release and get on her way.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone. I